Welcome to another exciting episode of Kaiser Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev and today we have something special. It's a rally week and we have a special guest on the show introducing to you Mr. Esapeka Lapi who is the driver of Team Hyundai i20N is going to be racing in the Safari Rally. But first things first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we preview the iconic Safari Rally and interview Team Hyundai champion Esapeka Kalapi on his bid to win the converted Safari Rally Championship. Finally, we review Kenya's most loved pickup, the Toyota Hilux. We check out its design, styling, practicality, engine performance, and of course give you its value for money preposition against its well-established rivals, the Ford Ranger, the Nissan Navara, and of course the Suzu D-Max. Catch this and much, much more on the Cars with Big Boy Trek. This Sunday, 5 p.m. only on NTV. Welcome to Cars with Big Boy Trev news segment where we talk about everything about motoring. In our first news item, we are at the Kaitano, Kenya, the home of Hyundai. And of course, we had a chance to interview Team Hyundai i20N, Hyundai Motorsports Champion, Mr. Esapeka Lapi, who won the Swedish Rally and is here to tackle the rough and tough Safari Rally. Here is what he had to say about his expectations of the Safari Rally. Yeah, the... Um Definitely the weather will be the most crucial thing this, this week. Um, I'm sure no one is fully prepared what, what's coming actually if it's really stormy. Really a big, uh, big raining, a lot of water, probably floods as well. So uh, we, we can't be fully prepared, but we, we try to be as much as, as we can. But it's hard to understand how difficult it can be. I mean, the speeds will not be high for sure if it's muddy. We got small taste of it last year. Sleeping Warrior, we had water <clears throat> and it was really muddy and we, we had so many moments. Uh, sometimes I miss the corners completely, so I just try to go between the trees not to touch anything and, and it will be crazy if it's if it's muddy the team did a, a big job last year to investigate what was the problem why the prop shaft was was collapsing so many times and we introduced a new prop shaft some new parts as well last last december so this for this year so this this should be fixed maybe we're gonna face something else now i don't know but it's been the weak point of hyundai on this rally the, the reliability i think the results could have been much much better better if, if, we, if the guys could have finished the rally, but it's been always the case. I think they should have learned the lesson already and, and we, should be, we should be reliable. And as you know, on this kind of uh, survival rally, anything is possible. You know, even drivers who are not the favorites, they can really win it. So let's see, but we are ready, we are ready. If the top step is, if they give it to us, you know, we will take it for sure. On to a second news item, of course, with Hyundai being supported by Katano Kenya, we had a chance to speak to the sales and marketing director, Mr. Ken Oak, who gave us a brief breakdown on the symbiosis between rally cars and the vehicles that they sell on the showroom. Let's take a look. My name is Ken Oko. I'm the sales and marketing director at uh, Salvador Caetano, Kenya. Uh, today we had a very special location where we were hosting uh, one of the most prolific rally drivers in the WRC, EP, as better known. He took his time off his busy schedule to come and meet and greet his clients and also just to appreciate us for promoting his success. And knowing very well that, uh, that the EP drives for Team Hyundai, Hyundai Motorsports and the Hyundai uh, Group have come in together to just leverage on his, on his success in the rally and let's create a bit of a buzz around it. Rallying is actually like a test for vehicles. Um, it's a place where the endurance, the, the performance, the safety ability of vehicles are tested. And uh, the same, same technology that is used in the rally cars is pretty much the same that is replicated in the passenger vehicle. So if it can stand the rally, then what about a normal driver? You're very safe. We actually are very happy to be having Hyundai team in the World Rally Championship. And uh, don't be surprised, maybe this time around, he, will, he might just win the rally. I think you know there's a new uh, Santa Fe, which is coming out sometime uh, end of this year. Uh, there's a new Palisade as well. The Tucson is also changing. And there's a lot that I'm seeing keeping under the cards. Uh, we'll be able to build them at that, that particular time. But uh, uh, most exciting is the Santa Fe, which is a completely different car. It's got a different look. It's, uh, it's much bigger and longer. The ability of being a seven-seater has been enhanced with much more space in the interior. Yet the technology on the engine keeps on improving. Welcome 
Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev's social media feedback segment. We give you all the space to talk about what you love about the show and what we can use to improve on the show. We go straight to our Facebook page and of course you're here and you're speaking to somebody called Roy Kimati and he says, CBT is the only program that makes me stick in the house every Sunday evening. Thank you so much. We appreciate the fact that you take your time to watch this show and we'll continue to endeavor to give you the latest reviews and of course exclusive courtesy of Cars with Big Boy Trev. And of course there's a gentleman here called Ruben Guitar. He says, wow, nice track. Thank you so much. For those who don't know, we were actually reviewing the JH6 Prime Mover 6x4, 420 horsepower. And of course, we enjoyed doing that review in Mombasa. And of course, the last person who is actually on our social media platform is a guy called Nikanori Ranju. And he says, Learned so much about FAW, waiting for your next episode, big boy. Asante Sana. All these messages of support, we enjoy them and we actually. Thank you. We are humble enough for you to just tell us what you think about the show and we'll continue to endeavor. So if you have any questions, comments or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get to you with the feedback next week. Well, it's time for us to review one of the best vehicles in the market. Stay tuned for that review. In our ongoing series of choosing the best double cab in the used car market, we take a closer look at the Toyota Hilux. Question is, is it a viable alternative to the current segment leaders that include the Ford Ranger, the Isuzu D-Max and the Nissan Navara? Well, let's find out. Today's a beautiful day because we are sampling the best of the best of double cab. Today on Kazu Big Boy Trev, it's all about that competition that is happening right now in our market. Now, as you all know, Toyota Hilux has been in the game for over 60 years and I can tell you, they've really tried to improve the product as time goes by. However, the likes of the Ford Ranger, the Isuzu D-Max and the Nissan Navara have really come and up to their game, brought in new technologies, new designs and of course comfort and safety. But Toyota have something up their sleeve. So today on Kaza Big Bad Trev, introducing to you the 2021 Toyota Hilux Invincible updated just to meet and exceed the levels of comfort, safety and design of their rivals. We start this particular review by taking a look at the design face and the first thing you do notice is this massive quadratic grille. If you love American cars, then you've seen the Toyota 4Runner, you've seen the Tundra, the old beastly butch looking design of the Toyota vehicles in the States. So it's been applied to this particular Hilux to give it that butch athletic stance. Rough, rugged, tough reliability. The bumper as well and the bonnet again. You have these subtle lines, these bulges again, giving this car that butch athletic stance. To top it up again, you have this L-type design of the fog lamps again, giving this car that je ne sais quoi and also just giving it that presence that you desire. Daytime running lights complement this one on this quadratic tail lamps that super cross the entire body shell. Again, this one is something to have thought about and it's just, it reminds me of a certain brand. You know, so they've really tried to just incorporate that into this particular vehicle. So it looks good. The road is illuminated properly and of course gives you that feeling of tough and butches. How is this side? Let's move to the side and have a look at the design profile of this Toyota Highlight. So guys, we're at the side view of this particular car. We start this uh, side profile review by taking a look at the front fender. Again, you have this squared off edges on the wheel arc. Again, squareness, butchiness, boldness. It's all about that design and visibility. So they've done that to ensure that this particular highlights give that athletic stance. Not only that, you can see this particular rims. They are aluminum and of course brushed with piano black finish and the 18 inch and they're all dressed up in guess what? Some grand track. You Kuhamas and Dunlops, my guys. This one just makes this car very capable of going off-road and giving you maximum grip on tarmac. Now, let's move to the back. As you can see, again, to the rear quarter. This particular one is where the load bay is. Uh, again, they've actually tried to minimize the amount of room so that you're able to have good leg and travel room for the tire. Now, moving over to the boot side again, this massive tailgate over here has been finished up with some chrome excerpts. As you can see, there's a rare start braking light that comes as standard just to ensure that anybody who's following you can see what is happening. If you're stopping, the light reacts faster than your eyes can see, so you're able to see faster. Then you have this rear tail lamp, quadratic with this cluster, which is sort of an LED signature design, again, giving this car that je ne sais quoi, 
not forgetting that the bumper again two-tone so it's got this plastic black trim and of course some chrome to give you that premium look and feel not only that you have this toyota badges toyota and of course the hilux and then the 4x4 meaning this car can do a little bit of off-roading actually quite a bit of off-roading so we can't wait for that but the question is how good is the cabin let's step inside and have a look at the cabin of the toyota hilux So guys, we've just seen from the walk around the design perspective of this Toyota Hilux. It's tough, it's butch, the design language is just bold and it's able to meet the likes of the Ford Ranger, the Isuzu D-Max and of course the Nissan Navara. But does that language translate to the inside? Let's step inside and have a look. And the first thing you notice is a forward cab design of the dashboard. This allows to have plenty of space between the passenger and the dashboard. Not only that, this particular dashboard has a two-tone commonality. Of course, you do have this stainless steel excerpt that runs across the dashboard and it's got some curvature right here. Now, the height of this center console is this seven and a half color multi-touch display that you've probably seen it on the Toyota RAV4. In case you missed the Toyota RAV4 review, please go on to our YouTube and check out that particular review. But it's got a similar setup. So basically, it's a crisp look. And of course, it's got that huge bezels around it. And it actually has quite a number of things. Number one, the most important update is it supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto system. So you're basically able to literally connect your phone and it becomes an extension of your phone. You're able to control quite a number of things, including getting traffic updates navigation book meetings appointments and even send emails and stuff like that not only that you're able to listen to quite good music now when i talk about music you know i'm a big fan of sound and you are able to listen to crisp sound courtesy of jbl synthesis nine speakers as you can hear Now that crispness is courtesy of the nine speakers that are spread across the cabin to ensure that every single person feels like they're in a concert. Now, right below it, you do have quite a number of items. You have the climate control. It's not dual zone, but works extremely well. You know, Toyotas are built for Africa, and Africa is known for high temperatures. So when you click on the AC, it's able to cool down the cabin, wherever you are. Mombasa, Lodwa, even the hottest, Chalbi Desert, you're able to enjoy. Now, right below it, you do have quite a number of buttons. You have hill descent control, and then you do have diff lock and stability control, which you're going to check it out later. Not only that, you have switch on the fly 4x4 settings. So, too high, 4 high, and 4 low. Again, I'm going to toggle through these ones and show you how it's done. Now, let's move over to the instrument binnacle. Again, Toyota doesn't overdo it. They have designed it in such a way that it is very visual. So, it's black on white hue. So, there's that crystal clear clarity coming out from this particular dial. So it's two dials, standard dials. So on the left hand side, you have the tachometer, right hand side speedometer. And in between the dials, you do have the temperature and fuel gauges. And in between, you do have a monochrome display that gives you all the basic information about what's happening in the engine and around the car. So from range, temperature, to service intervals, to what's playing on Bluetooth. Now, let's talk about the seating. Big boys comfortable. This particular seat is power adjusted. So you're able to, you know, fit in. I'm six foot one, very comfortable. Leg and headroom is fantastic. But just to enhance your comfort, you're able to do have tilt and telescopic steering wheel to ensure that you're able to fit and drive this car very comfortably. The passenger seats as well, you're able to adjust them easily. There's lumbar support. And of course, I like this body hugging foam that is very useful during long drives when you're traversing a beautiful country of Kenya. Now, that is just half of the story. Let's move to the back seat and see how practical it is. Can it fit three people? And then move out to the load area and then head out and find out the power of this Hilux 2.8 Super GD6. Moving over to the back, as you can see, there's plenty of space. This is one thing that I've always sung about, the Toyota Hilux. Previously, the back space was not good, especially the legroom. But I'm happy to report that this particular update has plenty of space. I'm six foot one. The seat that I was reviewing in is actually set to my height. So I've just jumped back and there's plenty of legroom to report. Headroom is fantastic, as you can see, and you're quite comfortable. Now, three people can sit here very easily because this hump is very low. So actually, they can actually place their feet there and it's going to be very easy easy to you know be comfortable around her. but if you're only sitting two people then you're able to extract to reveal two cup holders that you can fit perhaps your flask or something like that or two cups that you're able to enjoy and traverse this beautiful country of kenya at the back of the toyota hilux now in terms of comfort there is actually three headrests 
spread across everybody has some good neck protection important during those collisions because it prevents whiplash and you have three point safety belts all across this cabin to ensure that everybody is safe and of course isofix anchors are standard guys isofix on a pickup available in the Toyota Hilux again they've thought about every single aspect of it now Safety critical, like I mentioned earlier, you do have six airbags that are Most importantly, is this curtain airbag that runs across to prevent head injury during impact. So it comes standard in this particular Hilux. Again, they've thought about all the safety elements of this Hilux. But how practical is the luggage space? Let's move to the back and see the space, the depth of the load bay, and then head out to sample this particular Hilux. Now, moving over to the boot space. You open up this tailgate to reveal plenty of luggage space. This can actually carry one ton worth of stuff. So you're able to carry a lot of things. And of course, they have lined this particular area with this bed liner to prevent damage from the lower parts that are exposed still excess around this particular load area. I'm carrying my filming gear and as you can see, pretty comfortable. But to secure it, you can actually also order a tonneau cover or a cover on top just to prevent prying eyes from getting inside of this particular one. What Toyota have done as well is to actually have tie down hooks to prevent, you know, things from moving around just to secure everything in place. Not only that, you can also have 12 volt sockets around this area to, you know, you can actually carry a refrigerator or power your device as you go along this beautiful country of Kenya. So it's perfectly perhaps the best camping vehicle that you can probably have and your partner when it comes to traversing this particular vehicle. But it's time for me to sample the power of this 2.8 GD6 engine, 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters. Are you ready? Let's go. So guys, today is a beautiful day on Kasi Big Bird Trev. Why? Because we are sampling the brand new Toyota Hilux. So what makes it different from the previous generations? Of course, it still has the Toyota badge, which means reliability, efficiency, and of course, drivability. That is extremely important. But to compete with the likes of the Ford Ranger, the Suzu D-Max, the Nissan Navara, and many others in this particular category, it's important for Toyota to enhance the offering. So we start with the engine. Now, this particular vehicle has a 2.8-liter engine. It's called the 1GD FTV series and of course called the Super GD because now it has a stage one tune and produces 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque, which when you put your foot down, <laughs> it pulls. I have never driven a Toyota pickup that pulls like this. And of course, the point set the four wheels courtesy of a six speed automatic transmission with quick shift and of course it's got you know fuzzy technology which allows it to mimic your driving set understand how you're driving if you need power then it will hang on to the lower gears to give you that boost 500 newton meters that is the magic number and of course that allows it to compete to the likes of the ford ranger now also it also allows you to explore the full potential of the engine returning a fuel economy figure average fuel economy figure of 8.1 liters per hundred kilometers so this is pretty good the tank 70 liters and of course you can do roughly 900 kilometers on one single refill that is just but amazing in terms of safety what has toyota done to enhance the safety offering of this particular hilux i can tell you they've gone overboard now let's start with the active and passive safety features active uh, features that prevent you from having an accident include abs anti-lock braking system which prevents wheel lock during sudden emergency braking of course electronic brake force distribution to ensure that you have maximum brake force on all four wheels and brake assist just to give that extra oomph 40 percent more when you tap on the brake that you have effective stopping power now Obviously, you do have the vehicle stability control, which is the umbrella that controls all these systems. And that just ensures that you prevent yourself from toppling or losing control. Now, in case all hell breaks, then you can rely on the seven airbags, seven, not six, just to give you that safety sense, which is critically important. Now, that just offers you maximum protection against any form of access of course it comes with a five-star passenger cell rating to ensure that everybody in the cabin is particularly safe not only that at the seats at the rear seats you do have um, isofix anchors to fasten your baby's child seat securely to ensure that they remain safe 
while in the Toyota Hilux. And that is something that Toyota really enhanced, just to give you that look, feel, and protection when you're driving the Hilux. But the question still remains, how good is this car offered? Majority of people who buy Hiluxes do a lot of offered. We're gonna veer off the highway into the beaten track and find out whether the 4x4 system suspension works in tandem to give you the best 4x4 experience right here on Cars with Big Boy Trev. You stepped off the highway, it's time for us to sample the beaten track. This is the home of this particular vehicle and I can tell you I'm quite excited because what Toyota have done is to enhance the capability of this particular vehicle by giving it some serious off-road kit. So what does it have? So apart from the enhanced power, the 500 newton meters of torque, then you have an enhanced shift on the fly 4x4 system that basically redistributes torque depending on the different areas that you are in. So basically if you're um, in sand, mud, rut, and any form of terrain, you're able to adjust. So right now I'm just going through an area where it's probably mud and rut. So it's not too muddy and it's not too rocky and you're able to traverse. So I'm on too high because I don't see the need of selecting four high at the moment. And of course, during some situation when you get sticky, then you can rely on the four by four nature of this particular pickup. But the question still remains, the value for money preposition. How good is this car when it comes to value for money? I'm gonna quickly jump out and do value for money. Guys, that's it. That's a review of the Toyota Hilux. We love the way it looks and of course the key selling points of this particular car. Number one, the Butch styling. Number two, the powerful GD6 engine. 150 kilowatts, 500 newton meters of torque. Number three, 4x4 four four capability, amazing courtesy of the 4x4 four four system. Switch on the fly. Number four, creature comforts. Again, fantastic Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Number five, absolute value for money. Now, the Toyota Hilux is readily available in the used car market, and you can source it from Thailand, Japan, United Kingdom, and of course, not forgetting Malaysia and South Africa. In terms of spec, there are two levels of engines. You do have the 2GD engine, which is a 2.4 liter, and the 1GD, which is a more powerful 2.8 liter, and they retail at exactly 4 million to 4.5 million, respectively. In terms of servicing, minor service will cost you about 15,000. Major service will cost you anywhere between 25 to 30,000 shillings, depending on the grade of the vehicle. Who are the key rivals in this particular segment? You have the Ford Ranger, you have the Suzu D-Max, and of course the Nissan Navara, which are all competing in this particular space. Not only that, you have the Chinese, the Indians. Everyone is trying to buy for a piece of the pie. But the question is, would you take this over the rivals? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below. We'll get back to you with the feedback next week. Okay. Well, that's it. Until next week, drive safe and be safe.